and welcome to Treasure Hunt. Well, we have another pair of contestants in the studio waiting to guide Annika Rice and her helicopter around a course where this week four objects are hidden, and if they succeed in finding them in 45 minutes, they could win themselves a thousand pounds. I'm here to help them if I can, but I don't actually know where the objects are hidden. All I do know is that they're in an area covered by this map. Now, the two contestants this week are Adrian and Brian Lee. Adrian, where do you come from? I come from London originally, but I live in Nottingham at the moment. And are you working? Yes, I work at Trent Polytechnic and I teach American literature and some drama too. And you, Brian? I teach at the university. I teach American literature. Uh, I'm not from Nottingham either. I come from Lancashire. Well, I hope you're going to enjoy the treasure hunt and have the best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you. You at home will be able to see Annika Rice, our sky runner, but we, in fact, won't be able to see her, although we can hear her and we can talk to her. So I'm going to call her up now and see if she can hear us. Hello, Annie. All well there? Yes, yes, we'll be fine. Yes. Yes. Uh, let me just remind you of our team. Keith over there in the helicopter. Hello, Keith. Frank, our video engineer. Hello, Keith. Hello, Frank. Hello, Keith. And Frank. Graham there. Give him a wave, Graham. <laughs> and you can hear Adrian and Brown, all right? Yes, I can. Yes. Good. Just jolly good. Well, the helicopter is now in position, and we're almost ready to go, but we just need a few clues. Those are for the contestants, and you can have the main one. Oh, thank you very much. That's very thoughtful. That's Anne Mayo, who sets these very devious buses to us. Now, we've got 45 minutes to go, so start the clock, and here is your first clue. So well sealed down, I can't open it even. Where lies the man with coat so grey, who woke the fox from his lair in the morning? You will find a clue near his head. Where lies the man with coat so grey who woke the fox from his lair in the morning? You'll find a clue near his head. Coat so grey. I suggest you get up in the helicopter now, okay. Annie and Hopper, right. and we'll try and find out. John Peel, presumably. Greystoke Forest. So I don't know if that's anything. You better look and see. Who's who? You got who's who there, Ava? Right, I'm back in the helicopter. Good. No, that's only current, isn't it? You might find. Brewer's Fable. Oh. Where lies the man with coat so grey? I bet that might refer to, um... No, it's, 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 it's John Peel. John Peel, yes. John Peel, yes. John Peel, John Peel, well, it might have something to Where do with Where was he? Have you got here? John Peel. John Peel, English huntsman, maintained pack of pounds. This is Coldback in Cumberland. Oh, Coldback. Yes, Corbett. Yes, Corbett is directly like his... north. Directly yeah. north. Yeah. It's where he died. It's like about three minutes. Okay, that's where he died. Buried, buried, I imagine. Where lies the man? Lies. Lies. So grey, yes. So we want the burial place of John Peel. Now it's not in this book. Could it be anywhere? Right, I'm going to look up here in Corbett. Well, there's yeah, a church. There's a church. No, it just tells you where he lived. Corbett, seventy-one. Okay. It might say, it say something about him here. Yeah. You look there and say, John Peel. Do you claim John Peel was written by his friend John Woodcock Graves? But the tune grave. Oh, no. His grave can be seen in the churchyard to the left as the t as, as the church door is approached. So we want the churchyard. Oh, just we want the churchyard. But he went to the fox from his lair in the morning. Oh, that's just a reference to the song. So, so, yeah, so find a clue so. near his head. Can't we sing a song for you? No, thank you. Uh, <laughs> we can do it if you want. We've got nothing better to do. I'm not singing it to you. We well, think it's the churchyard. We think it's the churchyard. It is the churchyard, and as you go up towards the church... Well, we should be nearly there. We're okay. just flying over some very... As close to the churchyard as you can get. And it says the clue is near his head, so that might be the headstone, or it might be some effigy of him. I wonder right. whether there's anything. Have it's you looked in this book at all? Yeah, this AA book. Let's see if it's in the book. Let's back ahead of us now. I'm oh. just looking for a fire. Yeah, that 
Church? Yes. Spare the church. That's not the one. Church. I don't think you'll get better clues than that. Yes, spare the oh, church. Oh, how about this one? Shall we come and land near the church? Yes, please. And then you go into the gate of the church. Go into the gate of the church. And his grave is on the left as you approach the church door. On the left as I face the church door. Yes. To the left as the church door is approached. Okay. So let's try and just go through the right entrance. Oh, there's the graveyard. Is there just one church door? Have you got a map of it? We haven't, we haven't got a map here. Can you find Kohlberg in any of these books? Yes. And we've got to cross, cross a small bridge to get to the church. Is it in your book? How do we get out of the field? The fox is. Yeah, there must be something else about that. We've got, got to get out of the field into the church. I want to see whether there's any map or anything of it. Right. Yes. Okay. Okay. Can you get into the churchyard? Yeah. Yes, but it's just Hello. A, yes. Just trying to get out of the field. Right. Are okay. you are you near the church there now? No, we've got to, if you look on your map, there's a small um bridge we've got to cross. Okay. Um you know, I've got to cross over into someone's garden. Oh, you haven't just used... Excuse me. church door on the left. It says, as you approach the church door... Well... As I approach the church door? Yes. His grave can be seen in the churchyard to the left as the church door is approached. Right. Well, Thomas Peel. Yes. Uh, Edward Peel. Uh, and John Peel. John Peel! John Peel! Junior, his head. head. Junior, his head. Junior's head. Junior's head. The headstone. Might be the headstone. Might be some picture of him. It might be... Yeah. Um... Right. Where is it? I don't know where his head is these days. Um, is a headstone to the... Yes, it's a headstone. Anything near there? Near his head. Um, is there anything towards the right. bottom of the... I'm just looking over into the, the grass. headstone? Well, that's where near his feet would be. be. Well, I should now want to poke so very well. Thought. You'll find a clue near his head. Wait a minute, what's the house? Ouch, I'm getting stung by stinging nettles. Oh, hey, I got it! Oh, well done. Good, Good. 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 Good